Wow, guys, I'm sorry. Whoa, I don't know what's going on now because just like yesterday when I took my camera, now it only gave me 18 minutes and 46 um, seconds worth of uh, uh, footage time. So yesterday I was like, damn, when my phone, when the camera had went out, because I did tape some stuff yesterday and it had went out and I'm like, damn, I had emptied the whole thing. And so why is it, I don't know why the memory is choppy. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, I mean, Flip has been around for a long time and I fuck with this a long time and I love Flip. Flip is my shit, but I need a point. I need me a point and shoot camera like this. Something simple like this, because I'm a novice when it comes down to this. My daughter fucks with that Canon. You know, she's a photography enthusiast, and so she loves that. So she takes pictures with the Canon. I don't even fuck with it. Never have. It, it was so overwhelming with me. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't make heads or tails out of that. And that was an expensive-ass gift that, you know, my husband had got me. And I just, you know, I, what can I say? I kind of messed up on that one. It was just too much. Take this lens off, put this one on, this right here, this, take this chip out. Man, I couldn't fuck with that. You know, and then I had bought a little remote control and I had a ring light. Man, I don't know. It, it was too much with that Canon shit. I need something like this right here. Just let me know what's a good one that's a point and shoot type of little camera like this right here. Because we're going to roll this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. And if it give us 18 minute motherfucking videos, then that's what the fuck we going to be doing. And it'll be nine of them motherfuckers. Okay? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Hey, what can I say? It's not me. It's this. But what, what, for whatever it is, we're going to still enjoy it. We're going to regret rejoice and, 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 and all that old kind of good shit with it. So, anyway, let me get back on this because it's obvious we ain't got that much time now. So, anyway, I went to Boston's with this younger guy, right? I had met him. I went to the, um, to go get me some, I went to the ATM. And uh, when I got out of the car and I was walking up there to the ATM and I had noticed, you know, I guess he was in the parking lot, I guess trying to find him a parking or whatever. I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, nice looking guy. And he was sitting in a nice car, you know what I'm saying? He was driving to the parking lot. And I was like, okay. You know, and he was finding him a parking spot to park. So I got out of my car and I'm walking into the ATM. And then he parked and got out he was walking to the ATM so when I get up there and everything and I'm handling my transactions and uh, it was somebody that was working on the one next to me so he was in the line and after they had left he had went up to that and he was up there at the ATM next to me and so um, you know we kind of like you know you know when he walked up I just kind of looked and grinned and you know he looked grinned and kept it pushing I finished my transaction after that. I bowed back and walked into my car. As I'm walking to my car, he's walking behind me. So, and when I got to my car, you know, well, first, as I'm walking, you know what I'm saying, I had to do the way to accept, oh, you know, he's still looking, you know, one of them. Yeah, so when I get in the car and I, you know, get in, and I look back, I see him walking to his car, but then he turned around, he bowed back, and he said, excuse me. I was like, oh, okay, here we go, you know. And so he was like, uh, you know, um, my name is so-and-so, and, -and, -so, and um, you're a very beautiful lady, and i just like to know if we can exchange numbers or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you married, yada, yada, yada. So we exchanged numbers, and, um, you know, we had been conversing back and forth on the phone and everything. But what's throwing me off about it is, he 37. He's 37, and I'm like, oh, my God. I See, look, I've never dated anybody younger than me. I don't know nothing about that life, okay? So I don't know. I don't. I, I just feel kind of, I don't know. And I know that's kind of crazy because some of y'all motherfuckers is dating 20-year-olds. I just ain't on that yet. I'm not there. So, you know, I mean, to have someone of that age to like me, Yes, but to say that we're physically dating, no, you know, and mm -mm, unless known, you know, have have sex with somebody that's 30-something, 
I don't know if I could do it, y'all. I don't know. I know that probably sounds crazy, right? I, because he's a grown-ass man, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Y'all, I was married over 20 years, okay? I was married over 20 years. And Kenny is 50-something. Kenny is, what, 54, 55? Nigga, I wouldn't even know how to motherfucking act. I'd be like, oh, my God, wait a minute. Hold on, nigga, wait. Get my arm from her, back from around me and shit. I don't know what the fuck the motherfuckers do. Probably put the shit out my ass. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different caliber of energy right there. I don't even know. Shit. That's probably what got me motherfucking nervous. Okay? That's what the fuck got me so goddamn scared. Is that right there? I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Ah, shit. Hey. I don't know. Real shit. So, but anyway, he fine as fuck. Fine as a motherfucker, right? So, we've been conversing back and forth on the phone. BT weekend was here. With him. Yeah. And uh, I was coming back from LA. That day that I went down and I had got me some Golden Bird and all that shit. That was during the BET Awards weekend. So he had called me up. I'm driving. I'm on the freeway. He was like, Where you at? I was like, um, I'm on the freeway. I'm heading home. And so he was like, Well, can we meet up or whatever? Just for a quick drink or whatever. I was like, well, you know, I don't drink. What you trying to do, you know? So he was like, um, well, you know, I, well, damn, well, can I have a drink? I was like, well, yeah, okay. So, you know, he was like, well, let's meet up at Boston's. I had never been to Boston's <clears throat> before in my life. Don't know shit about it. And Boston's is like, um, it's a pizza, a gourmet pizza spot that has, they have so many goddamn uh, TV screens and this motherfucker. So much shit was going simultaneously. I said, oh my God, what's going on? How, I don't understand how men can watch that shit. I mean, nigga, it was so many goddamn, and every motherfucking angle was all these motherfucking TV screens. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? Because I'm, I'm, when I'm looking at something, I'm very attentive to what I'm... Nigga, it was so many goddamn cameras through that. I mean, cameras. So many um, screens, you know, it's like a sports bar. So, I'm like, he was like, well, meet me at Boston's. I had never been there before, so I was like, okay. So, he's like, it's right there off the freeway, yada, 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 get off me, yada, yada, And then, you know, I'm going to call you anyway, because I'm going to talk you through it as you get close. So, we end up meeting up there and everything, and, you know, now this is the first time I'm seeing him away from the bank. So, um. This month, y'all, this motherfucker is so goddamn sexy. It don't make no sense. I'm like, you know what? Look, hey, leave me alone because I've been fucking the shit out your motherfucking ass. Okay? Leave me alone because I'm all the way grown with mine. I already know how to work this motherfucker. Okay? Okay? So don't play with me because I've been in the, hey, hey. Okay? See, I ain't been on that. So I don't know nothing about all of that. But all I'm saying is this right here, don't fuck with me. Okay, because I'm in my prime right now, too. Shit, you only on 10. Okay? So, anyway. He opened up the door and let me out. I get out the car and everything. This motherfucker hug my ass and lift me up off the ground. That's the shit that fucked me up. For you to lift me up off the ground, fuck me up. It just, it's, it's some mental shit. Don't lift me up off the ground. Otherwise, nigga, I love you. Don't do that to me. That fucked me up. I don't know what that is, something, but something about that fucked me up mentally. For a motherfucker to pick you up. I, ladies, if y'all motherfuckers, I'm, I'm quite sure a lot of y'all motherfuckers, have, you know what I'm saying, been one of them. Well, I ain't been one of them because I was a 300 pound motherfucker. It would take about two motherfuckers and the rock. To handle this right here, to just pick a bitch up. Oh my God! At that, no, I wouldn't. I didn't qualify. Now, bitch, about 183, no problem. But, but anyway, he didn't do it like that. When he hugged me, he just lifted me all the way up. But when he lifted me all the way up, the motherfucker lifted me all the fuck away up, like this. Like at first, at first I was hugging him. And then, shit, I guess, I guess he can feel, I guess he can feel me exhale. I don't know. I guess he felt like, oh, shit, because I was like, oh, shit, this motherfucker about to lift me up. When I felt that, nigga, I just surrendered like a motherfucker bitch just went, fuck it. 
take me, let just take me now. Shit, it was one of them. Just take me now. Fuck it. Anyway, that motherfucker. And so he just grabbed me by my waist and lift me up like that. That motherfucker lift me up like that where it was pussy level. Probably like right there like that. I don't know if that motherfucker wanted to smell them pussy and what it was, but that motherfucker lift me all the way up like that right there, right. Scared the fuck out of me. I was like, oh my God. I was so motherfucking wet. Oh, I said, oh my God, this motherfucker. So we said, so now at this point in time, because we stood outside for a minute. So when we finally made it inside, you know, we sitting there at the table and everything. This motherfucker want to hold my hand and rub all in my hand. I said, oh, nigga, you trying to fuck me tonight. I see where this is going. Uh, I ain't going to be able to do this right here. You know what I'm saying? And so, but I did have me a margarita. Y'all, I had a margarita. I had a margarita, girls. I had a margarita. But she was like, well, do you want salt or do you want sugar on it? I was like, oh, shit. I didn't know you had a choice. Give me sugar on mine. So they put sugar around the, around the rim of my cup, of my glass and shit. See, I don't drink, so I don't know what to get down there. But when she said, you want salt or you want sugar, if you don't put sugar on mine, because I ain't going to be able to put no salt on nothing I got going. Nothing that I'm going to drink on. Fuck that. So... Anyway, so she, she when she brought my shit back, it had this little motherfucking sugar and shit around it, shit, motherfucking glass was all ice cold. Anyway, so I'm just uh, we sitting across the table, you know, we just vibing and shit. This motherfucker looking at me all in my face, said, "Oh my god, this motherfucker trying to fuck me tonight." I, I ain't gonna do it. See, I gotta go home. I gotta help get some homework or some shit done. See, I gotta go home. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I said that shit in a minute. I, look, I'm gonna have to go home. But especially when I see a motherfucker starting to get, you know, nigga, you playing me too close and I already know my flesh is weak, man. Hey, I gotta go home. I'll say that in a minute. I gotta go home. Mm mm. You ain't finna get me caught up. Fuck that. So, we're sitting up there and we're talking and everything. And we sat there one hour, one to two. I was like, oh shit, you know. And then at this point in time, nigga, shit, these motherfuckers is about to start cleaning up in a minute. Um, it's time to go. I, I need to go. But the conversation was cool. We were sitting up, we were vibing, we were having a good ass time, man. You know, and, and, and what's so crazy is, I don't even understand why. Well, I was just honest with it because he was like, okay, well, you date anybody who you seeing? I was like, yeah, you know, I got this guy that I'm seeing or whatever and, you know, and, and, and all this kind of stuff. And, and so... I would, he was, you know, kind of inquiring about him or whatever, so, and I, we was talking, and the guy had came in and had these case was on, and I was like, oh, and, and I said, you know, we were talking about this guy, he had on some blue case was in there, and so, and our case was is one of my favorite shoes ever, and so, and I was saying, and I was saying, you know, the guy that I'm seeing, he also liked case was, so we started talking about case was, okay, so, he was open about his, what he got going on, and I was talking about what I had going on. And the guy that I'm seeing, he likes case was as well. And so he was like, oh, you like them shoes? I was like, yeah. And so he was like, nah, that's kill slop, feel slop, and all that. I was like, wait a minute, what? And he was like, nah, 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 baby, we can't do no case with I was like, what's wrong with case with He said, case with me. This some L.A. shit, some South Central L.A. shit. This ain't got nothing to do with the Bronx and Yonker or none of that old type of shit. The, uh, Decatur, nigga. None of that Houston, none of that shit. Out here, from what he was telling me, I never heard this before in my life. So this some new shit or maybe some old shit Just I ain't just been on. I've been loving Case was for years, okay? He said Case was stands for see a slob. When, no, when you, wait. Kill a slob when you see a slob. Some shit like that. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck all this? He said, that's what the fuck that mean. Ain't nobody doing them but Crips. I was like, okay. You know what I mean? And so, baby guy, that's all he fucks with his case with. But I also know, you know what I'm saying? I also, you know what I'm saying? I already know the background of the man. You know what I mean? I already know all this. So, you know, but when dude was like, Right then and there, he was like, oh, okay, well, what's, you know, so at that point in time, he really wanted to know about, you know, so what's up with that, you know what I'm saying, what's up with dude, though, you know, either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up off of that, but he's a young, he's younger, and 
you know, and so, but since that day, he's been wanting to hang out, you know, let's go to the movies, and yada, 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 let's go see this, that, this, 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 because we got a new theater over here in the area, and our new theater, you don't just pay to go in that motherfucker regularly, nigga, you pay for a seat, ain't that a bitch, you pay for a seat, so just like a concert ticket say seat 11, uh, row B, yeah, the, own your motherfucking ticket to tell you exactly what seat you in and that yada yada yada. And so he was like, well, look, let's go to the movies. So, you know, and we were supposed to go to the movies this past Friday. But I canceled out on him because, nigga, you trying to fuck me. And I ain't trying to, I see what you're doing, goddammit. So that's why I'm just kind of staying out of his way because I just feel like, nigga, you trying to fuck me. And you, 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 you ain't coming out with it, but it's like an evident you know, and it's like, you only being super duper nice because you're trying to get what you're trying to get. But it's okay, nigga. I can play that game. I have your ass strolled out for a whole two years fucking with me. Okay? Because I already see where he at with it. And yeah, he wants the pussy. I already see it. So, and he's a handsome guy. And all these little chicken strips all around through. I already know. You know, once he drive his little whip around and all that kind of shit. You know, and, you know, I, I already know it's a lot of chicks on that ass. Got to be. Got to be. But I'm not finna play that game. I'm 40-something. I'm not finna play that game with your ass. Look, check this out. You that dig it in on the motherfucking shelf in that glass right there. Break in case of emergency. And that's gonna be where that's gonna be. Because uh, I'm certain that I will be motherfucking option too. But then too, the next thing is, motherfucker, why are you asking me about all... You know, but when I first met him, we was talking and everything. And he's divorced. His, he has two children. His kids are like my age. But damn, I'm like 40-something. And your kids and my kids are the same age. So, anyway. But, um... I'm getting ready to start saying too much. Let me cut it all out. But, you know, we start talking and everything. And I'm like, nigga, you know, I don't, I ain't on no Netflix and kick it and shit. Netflix and chill and all that. Well, let me come by and we're going to go swimming. Nigga, get up out of here with that bullshit. So then, therefore, I just glide right on by that motherfucker. He be texting, good morning, good morning, nigga. Yeah, hey, how you doing? And I keep it pushing because my shit was. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, he's he's nice and nice looking. But I already see what he wants to do. It don't take a rocket scientist to know what it is that he's up to. And with that, I'm kind of cool. There it is there. So, okay. <laughs> Not to say that, but okay, nigga, you trying to fuck me, and I know what it is, so okay, whatever, you know, um, but, um, but, oh, um, update on the strawberry letter last week. Do y'all know what old girl told old boy? Why she tell him? And then when she told him, when I go on there, now he done deleted it. He, I guess he deleted his channel or whatever. I mean, deleted his little get up. So all of his messages that was in the feed are all gone. So he had to basically delete his thing. Either he deleted or blocked me or whatever, which nigga, I don't even really motherfucking care, nigga. I don't really care. When you hit me with, well, you got a son. And when you got to hit me with um, uh, the six-year-old son. And you was like, you know, it wasn't so much about the sun. Let me clarify that up. It was more to that. But it was so many different things. See, and with me, let me be honest with you. My baby is 14 years old. Okay? So, which means I don't want to go back and dealing with all this baby mama shit. I don't want to deal with all that. I got to go pick the kids up. I got this right here with the kids and this right here with the kids. And my baby mama is tripping. And this bitch trying to take me to child support and get more money. And I don't want to deal with all that shit. You know, and then when you was hitting me, when he was hitting me with some shit about when he got to work out of, out of state, no, out of the country for two weeks or some shit. And when I, when I get back and, you know, we're going to work on our family, we're going to work on this together and all this. So girlfriend, am I telling you some familiar shit? Mm. Um, yeah. So, um, when he, uh, talking about what we're going to do this and that in a couple of weeks and all this old type of shit and his son, this and that and. 
what else? And he, he gave me his number and all kinds of kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and so, but when I saw, and especially in his pictures, and I saw you in his picture for you and shit, and you was trying to let everybody, girls, he's mine now. He's off the market. He ain't said shit. But in the, in the comments, all below his pictures and shit, you got in the comments. Oh, thanks, girls. Thanks for coming, you know, congratulating my man. And this is my man and my man and my man. And he ain't said shit. Do you understand me? This motherfucker was still on my bumper, like, okay, we tend to forget about all that. Okay, now, now, what's, 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 what's going on? What's, what's up? You know, and it wasn't until I came on here and did the strawberry letter and was talking about it, she went and told him, okay, well, you know, what you got going on and yada, yada, yada. Now, he done deleted his shit. Now, she don't get nothing. But now, here now, mama, didn't you see all them bitches in this nigga feed? Come on, now. Oh, that nigga with picture, because he's a, he's a handsome man. I give him that. So, and I think he, I think he told me he's from Trinidad and something else, but real handsome, handsome motherfucker, right? I mean, all debonair and shit, sitting in his car and shit, taking pictures up close and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's got to be a real nice looking man, motherfucking curly top and shit, y'all. Um, nostrils a little bit big, though, but we can work with them, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah, that motherfucker, yeah, hell yeah, shit. You know, very handsome man. When he first hit me up, I was like, oh, holla. And even after, you know, me and this man been, you know, sending messages back and forth for a long time. So, I don't know where you came in at, you know. And it's okay with me because, baby, look, check it out. My cup runneth over anyway. There's no thirst. I'm cool. I told you then, look, check this out. I'm out the way. Go handle that right there. You know what I'm saying? Go do good. Hey, build a family with this motherfucker. He got a six-year-old and all that shit. I ain't got that kind of, I ain't, I ain't got that stamina no more. I don't want to go with all that. Y'all don't want to do all that, you know what I mean? And he, but we're going to build on a family, and we're going to work on this as a family, and then, and, and, and you think, oh, this kind of, your wish is my command. I said, oh, shit. This motherfucker told me his wish is my command, whatever I need, yeah. He was, I mean, his campaign was strong and long, so I can understand why, you know, then you start putting it on Facebook on how much, you know, he told me I can have whatever. This motherfucker said that shit to me, too. So, hell, he done said that shit to every one of the motherfucking bitches in the goddamn feed. Hell, because y'all, when I tell you in his, his pictures, because he's very nice to the man now, the nigga in his pictures, it's like, this one got 10 bitches commenting. This one got 30 of them motherfuckers. Probably got probably 100 goddamn like um, All kind of shit like that. So I'm like, you know, when I first seen him, I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I think he's like 47, somewhere around there. I don't remember. But his main picture, he got this beige and shit shirt on. Look real, real nice. He sent that motherfucker to me too. Little beige, little beige shirt on. Like, like a, something like a, almost like a, Real pretty beige, and then too, he's sitting inside of a car, so you like see the beige of the car, and it's like a yellowish tinge to it. Oh, he's just nice looking man. But so, mama, if you willing to go through all that, it's okay with me. Man, you still cool. I ain't never fucked him, none of that shit. Okay, look, hey, he gave me his number, I never called him. Okay, but so good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? You let him know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? He didn't delete this shit. Maybe he probably want to be serious. I don't know. But I know from the time that you was posting all the shit about my man, my man, my man, your man was still hitting me, okay? But I didn't even know nothing about because, I mean, you know, nigga, I'm one of the callers that ever did it. I'm looking at dates, times, I'm looking at all this timeline shit. So when I seen your picture, I was like, oh my God. And you had just, like, left him a comment, but yet and still the night before, he had not sent me a message. So I was like, oh shit. Um, he trying to see somebody that I also know. No, what, not like I really, really know you, but, you know, of course, you're on my Facebook and stuff. So, you know, it's not like, you know, we done broke bread or anything, but, you know, I'm, I'm familiar. You know what I mean? And I really adore you, you know. Beautiful sister, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She done went through the little weight loss journey, too. Still going through it like the rest of us. But, girl, you look so good. Nice ass gray hair, girl, please, honey. Yeah, use a, bear, use a cutie. So yeah, I, look, I, he look look what he trying to fuck with. He trying to fuck with two motherfucking dimes. Hey, I ain't mad at him. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I bowed out. It's all on you. But hey, I was just trying to give you some extra shit to work with. So then hell, you needed the information of where to really see what's up with him, and you needed my help to see what's happening with him. I was just gonna help you with it. 
That was it. I, no more, no less. You see my cup when it's over, mama. I can't put nothing. Now I'm motherfucker up in, the, in, up in the mix. Niggas is already fighting and tripping out and motherfuckers is acting a fool and police and I man, all kind of shit. I ain't got time for that shit. But I left my shit up there to keep a bitch option open just in case if I needed real range to exchange a motherfucker. It's no problem. Okay? That's what that is. It's just the fact that I ain't out here trying to be 